Ladies and gentlemen, our following bout is bout number seven of the evening. This fight is brought to you by Warriors of the Moncon. Three by three minute rounds in the featherweight division. He's choosing first. Fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Gavin Fuller, John Miller, at a GTG in Perth in the Superfight Gym in Melbourne, with an official weight of 57.15 kilograms. A pro record of 15 fights for 12 wins. Fighting out of Perth, Western Australia, she's the Western Australian WBC Super Featherweight Champion and the Destiny Featherweight Muay Thai Champion, ladies and gentlemen, Tiff Lamb. And across the ring is her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, trained by Maverick Day, out of ground zero. Last night of the way in, she came in at 56.25 kilograms. A combined fight record, a pro and amateur of 11 fights, with a pro record of five fights for three wins, two losses. Fighting out of Brisbane, she is a WBC Queensland State Featherweight Champion, Corbin Harvey! When the action begins, you manage charge in centering Mark Stone, both fighters, Y Crew Ramoy. Right into the business end of the card now, Brody. Now, the ladies only coming at 57 kilos, but I mean, you have a look at them. I've always thought Corbin was really big and strong. Yeah, you know? big, strong 57. Yep. Same with Tiff. Absolutely. Corbin with a. She might have a slight height advantage. Slight. Slight height advantage. Nothing Tiff hasn't dealt with before. She's had a, bit, a little bit of a different, different camp. Tiff, she's, you know, per Perth's home to her. Yep. She's training over um, over there. Um, but she's finished off the last last couple of weeks with Don um, down at Superfight in Melbourne. Yeah. Which is nothing different because she was there before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So she knows, she knows. Knows her style. You know, most people in Australia, Muay Thai sort of know, you know, she, she has moved around a bit, you know, yep. between Victoria and WA. Um, Don Mill up here from Superfly Gym in her corner tonight. So Tiff, another, another fighter, loves her, her, her big knees and kicks. Really nice style to fight, and, and this is what Corbin said to me. She wants that to fight that tough, hard tie style. And it's good. It's good that she wants to challenge herself because Tiff is one of the best. Absolutely. You know, I always admire when a fighter gets to a point where they only want to fight the best. They don't want to dodge anyone. No. And that's that's your that's the way to. You know, to better yourself too. You're actually a fighter. Yeah, hundred percent. Don't dodge anyone. So three rounds tonight, Mr. Ladies. Three rounds. Pro fight, full tie rules. Corbin Harvey, Tiff Lamb. All right, round number one. Round one. Hey! Starting the kick down immediately. Hey! Hey! Of course, Tiff fluently changing from Southpaw to Orthodox. Definitely, even though the height's pretty similar, you see Corbin has that, that longer, longer legs. She it's, does seem to have a bigger height yeah. advantage than the three centimeters, yeah. you know, in height, yeah. I think you'll see her keep it out and try and keep Tiff away from her because Tiff wants to get in close. You know, Corbin's got a little bit, little bit higher hips, longer legs. So at their say, we'll have a round here with the ladies are figuring out each other's distance. Hand the body there. She had 
active switching through orthodox there. She comes through with a little sequence and finishes up in southpaw with the left hand in the yeah, body. I like it. I like, it can only work if you have very good balance. Absolutely. And it, it must be frustrating to come up against. Oh, Tiff's head was a little bit low for a second there. We know Corbin is strong in the clinch, but coming out of super fight, obviously Tiff's oh, yeah. no slouch. No. Nice little play. There we go. Beautiful work from Tiff there. Just using those teeps. I think that's where she's got to set herself up from, just with that, or, you know, that little bit of height difference. Yeah, de definitely playing Corbin's favour to keep those tips going. We don't want to really let Tiff start getting creative with those kicks. She no. can move forward and throw them off. Yeah. That left hand to the body. Ooh, the slip. Big smiles from Tiff. Laugh it off, back into it. Final 10 seconds of the round. Girls kick for kick. So I like to see, yeah, that's it. A, a switch kick. I love a switch kick. I love a left kick. I don't think it's South or Orthodox. I just love a left kick. Yep. It's mine and my favourite. Just, just, oh, just a shin across the arm. I love it. I love it. No, it's mine. See, Corbin just grabbing his head, trying to pull that down. Tips is getting that little turn and sweep. Tricky work from Tiff there. Very controlled and professional first round yeah. from the ladies, as you expect. These are the, you know, a couple of the best from each of their own states. All right, so I wonder what sort of changes we're going to see coming into round two and three. Fairly even. I don't know if any coach would be confident they were they were on top no, of that one. No, I. It, yeah, it was very close. You're right. Yeah. I think you'll see both girls start to pre press, press the pace now a little bit now. Only three rounds. You got to. You don't have time. I do like spending two rounds feeling things out, but only if I've got five to do it. Yeah, hundred percent. So really close round, round number one. Um, let's see what brings, what happens in round two. I dare say they, like you said, they're going to get after a little bit. Yeah. Of course, this fight sponsored by Warriors of the Hong Kong. Seconds down. Both ladies not fast whatsoever. No. Round two. And as we predicted, Brady, straight into it. It really is a kick for kick. Neither lady is letting a shot land without giving her own back. Corbin, she's super strong around that neck, isn't she? She really is, isn't she? Oh, nice little turn. Tiff. Yeah, it's going to be a good um, a good lesson in Corbin's clinch game coming up against someone like Tiff. Yeah, very technical in the clinch. Very clever. Corbin looking for a right elbow, sneaking through the middle, just come off the mark. Really strong body locks on both ladies. They're just getting those knees in. Yeah, I like how Tiff turns, just turns Corbin, just so she can't get those knees off. Off in just the right minute. There we go again. Yeah, nice. there's Tiff. Yeah. That question mark on that, that full stop, I should say, on that pinch. Tiff playing around of her stance there. Left kick, beautiful. Yeah, she's fine at home with that left kick. I'd like to see her stay in its outpour a little bit. Just as Corbin steps in, she's landing that right across mm. the arms. 
if you can fight Southpaw, I don't know why you wouldn't be yeah. Southpaw. <laughs> I did it once. I just fought Southpaw. I loved it. Mm. Against the Orthodox, anyway. That left kick. Ooh. Is that left hand in the body from Tiff again? Tiff. Corbin landing plenty, plenty of her own teeps in the body. Tiff Fit, really physically strong from Corbin in the first Yeah, Ninji. Because we know how good Tiff is. Tiff locking up that knee there. Without that left kick's definitely there if Tiff wants to throw it. That body's that body's open for it. But she's just gotta just gotta work away in. Cooper's got to... definitely got the guard and the structure where yeah. that left kick can pop up under. Yeah. You know, just like we saw of Harry Shepard and Josh Rod earlier. Yeah, 100 percent Only 20 seconds to go in this round, Brody. Oh, wait. It's going quick. It's going quick. Yeah. The girls find themselves in the clinch again. Who's going to land the first knee? And it's Tiff. <laughs> Corbin looking for those right elbows over the top. Not sure how effective. That's in round number two. Another close round. Another very, very close round. Both ladies. So not fast at all. Not fast at all. You can have a bet on the next three fights. I'd like you to see it in the clinch a little bit. I love a good clinch. Money when both girls can clinch or both yeah. people clinch, yeah. it's it's good to watch. We've seen some good clinching action tonight too, Brody. Plenty of people just going knee for deep. Yeah. It's almost like there's a, a, a silent agreement. Okay, I'm just going <laughs> to knee you, you're going to knee me, we're just going to do that. And we're going to knee together. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, Maverick Day, very, very calm and collected at the, the Ground calm. Zero team up there in the corner. I'd love to be over there listening to what Donnie's got to say to Tiff. Yeah, many, a lot of experience with Don. Or Uncle Don, I should say. I think you're gonna see, we'll see an even busier round this round too. Yep. I think you'll see the girls go after it. And I think it'll be another close round. This, yeah. this is really, really closely matched. Yeah. You now we've seen it in the striking and the clinch that they're just really, really, really testing each other. Yep, Corbin's happy as, Tiff's happy as. Final round coming up. All right, girls, touch gloves, ladies and gentlemen. This is the third and final round. Third and final round. Both teams will know they'll have to have a very dominant round here if they want to take this home. It's been a very close very, fight. Yeah, very close. Tiff just pushing forward. Definitely a bit more Whoa. intensity. Corbin's got a cut there. Corbin laying the own elbow. Tiff's bleeding from the left eye. Big left kick from Tiff. I'm not sure if that was even an elbow. It was a bit of a step up elbow in that sequence. Whether, whether or not it was the one that landed yeah. is another story. Straight left from Tiff there, moving from that southpaw position again, but that eye is leaking, eye is leaking. and it is starting to leak more and more. Good bit of confidence for the fighter that's created the cut, that's for sure. Definitely sees blood, she's going after it. Tiff knows Tiff has to go, otherwise they will stop they this. They might stop this. And it takes a few jabs to that cut, and we're going to have an issue. Corbin looking for more elbows over the top. over a minute and a half to go. Tiff landing that left, left cross of the body regularly now. 
Oh, that, that's cut right under the eye, like eyebrow too. It's a decent cut. See, it's one of these cuts that they might stop if it gets any worse because it will start affecting your vision if it's not already. Strong work in the clinch. Lovely work in the pinch by the girls. Corbin looking for that right elbow. Let's make some noise, Queensland! Corbin staying very composed. It can be easy to fly off the rails when you see a cut on your opponent. Close fight, close round. If a, a fight this close, Brody, a, a cut might be something you're looking for. Yeah, definitely, yeah. It might seal the deal. Doesn't seem to bother Tiff too much, though. It's not affecting her vision. Final she still... She's absolutely coming forward. And Corbin's still looking for those elbows. Oh, Tiff, a little push trying to get back in that clinch. Final 15 seconds. Corbin looking really comfortable. Yeah, Good. really calm in energy. This is going to be a big test for her. Tiff's one of the best. Let's make some noise for both fighters. Fantastic fight. What a war in centering. Corbin Harvey, Tiff Lamb. Some quality Muay Thai right there. A lot of re mutual respect there. Each corner cleaning up the opposing fighter. Ew. Ew. <laughs> These are the fights I don't want to be a judge in. No. And that's why we're sitting here. And you can see Corbin there in the replay. Lots of attempts at that right elbow after the cut. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 29, 28, all the way to your winner via unanimous points decision. Blue corner, Tiff Lamb. Tiff takes the win.